What's up guys? Welcome back to Modern Singing Method. Today I'm going to talk to you a little bit about the tongue. Now the tongue is a powerful muscle that sits inside our mouth and its main role is to articulate sounds. Now the reason our tongues are so important in singing is because uh, the tongue is not just what we see when we open our mouth. This is the uh, mid middle to front part of the tongue. Uh, the very deep and back part of the tongue is actually connected all the way uh, down uh, close to the uh, larynx and the uh, tied to the muscles that uh, interfere with the vocal cords a lot, so you see how that uh, interferes with our singing. Now what happens is a lot of the times, the tensions that we have uh, in our vocal muscle, because again this uh, is all an interconnected system, uh, they start to express uh, deep and back there in the tongue, and we only see them if we carry across that uh, issue or the trouble, the mistake that we do uh, along uh, to the forward, but it's very very late once it reaches that point. Uh, what we want to do is we want to free a lot of that space and we want to sort of numb the tongue in our way uh, to perfect singing because that way not only we allow a lot more space and a lot more room for resonance but also we let the tongue free to uh, be used for the articulation of sound rather than to trying to take part into making the sound. We're gonna uh, try and do a little exercise here that is gonna help us uh, free a little bit of room back here uh, what we're gonna do, we're gonna uh, drive the tongue out of the mouth and we're gonna grab it with our teeth like that. Okay, so uh, we're grabbing the tongue with our teeth and uh, by doing so, we don't feel the need to control the tongue deep and back here. So when you go like this, all the tongue is pulled out. So uh, all of a sudden we've got a lot more room in here for resonance. And we need to sense that and we need to start uh, using that to our advantage. So now, what we need to do again, grab the tongue with the teeth and let the whole, uh, the rest part of the tongue rest uh, deep in the mouth. So going, remember the tongue is being held by the teeth, so we don't need to add extra pressure to it, just keeping it very numb and loose. Now we're going to grab uh, like a hum sound, and what we're going to do again, starting with a little bit of a sigh, we're going to uh, draw a few notes. Again, very, very much uh, more relaxed than that. Now, if we drive this sound upwards again. First of all, if we take it a little um, lighter in our approach. It's very easy to do so, and it kind of starts to feel a little different than going ah, because if you have trouble and your and, and the tongue muscle is holding you back like that, again, it's gonna make it very hard for you to sing. So going, mm, experiencing all that room in there. Mm, now again, when the closure starts kicking in. It's much more obvious, uh, we get a much better uh, feeling this time of the chord working. So let's keep adding a little bit of volume like that a chord, um, while the slide keeps going. And what you'll see is because uh, if you're applying this correctly and if your tongue is staying very loose, all of a sudden you cannot add uh, mu muscular uh, power like that. So instead of that, we get again. If we uh, if we were to lose the tongue now, so if we while we're grabbing it, we're just letting the tongue slide back to its normal position. We we initially turn this into a hum. Now, if you started with a hum from the beginning, chances are you would end up again driving it too high, too forward, making it too powerful. But doing it that way, it's helping you because the tongue is out of the way and it's uh, much less room left for error. So again, grab this thing, uh, put it in the slides, try to get it to the next level of 
uh, slowly drop the mouth and uh, allow the sound to come uh, a little bit, bit more fuller and come into an A vowel. Things like that, like try to incorporate this uh, into your singing. So next time you try to sing a line, don't just think uh, about doing this because whatever's happening with your tongue inside, it really affects the way the sound goes. So if the tongue is all stressed back here, I'm, I'm actually not tensing my throat right now in a sense. Of course I am, but I'm trying to do it by really making my tongue uh, hard like this, right? And if I just let it numb, completely numb like I'm doing now, so it's really losing all that tension that might be uh, built up, which again, it's every uh, kind of muscle group connected to the tongue, but that's a great way uh, to moderate it and to see if we're actually um, having a problem with this and how to solve it. Another video is coming to an end. Uh, I hope you really like this one. Uh, this is a great way to actually start sensing a little bit of that throat resonance. Uh, give it a go. Uh, let me know down below in the comment section um, how is it going and uh, what you would like to see next. Please like and subscribe to my uh, channel because it really, really helps me promote my method. Uh, thank you very much. I will see you pretty soon. Bye-bye.